Welcome to Behind the Schemes, a discussion of how commerce, corruption, and counterfeit cures are destroying our planet's precious wildlife. This is Risha Kota Larsen with Behind the Schemes, and in this episode, we're getting a bear's eye view of sun bears with Sue T. Wong, founder and CEO of the Bornean Sun Bear Conservation Center. Can you tell us about the latest expansion of the Bornean Sun Bear Conservation Center? Yeah, sure. Uh, it involves uh, one important element in our center, which is the observation platform. And then uh, this is uh, the, uh, the, the structures or the facilities where the visitors can actually come to the observation platform that is built in the forest and then overview the forest enclosures where the bears are, are, are roaming during the daytime. And then beside this observation platform also includes the boardwalk uh, that link from our entrance, the car park, to the observation platform, that part. And then uh, we have also built, uh, upgraded the road uh, from uh, the, the access road to our bear house, so which means that right now, uh, instead of gravel road, we have a small, beautiful concrete road that link to the uh, bear house is the operation work on the ground. Wow, so you can actually go up on the, uh, this observation platform, it's up high then, so that people can see out into the forest? Yes, it is. Actually, oh, the, wow. the view is, is spectacular, I would wow. say. Uh, we are so fortunate to have this piece of forested land uh, with big trees. You know, you are talking about really old trees. The forest itself is a uh, old growth forest that has that that was selective, lightly selectively locked uh, back in the thirties, and right now trees already grow back. And then so this forest observation, uh, this uh, forest enclosure is actually quite nice with multi layer. Uh, canopy and the canopy that reach up to like 60 or 70 meters and then uh, a few days ago one of our bears have climbed all the way to the to the top of the canopy which is about 40 50 meters above the ground that is pretty spectacular oh my gosh uh-huh. <laughs> is the observation platform is that open to the public already uh no actually no actually uh uh, the reason it is not open to the public yet because we still have one more component to be built, which is the visitor briefing area where the visitor comes in uh, from the boardwalk uh, that link from the car park to the observation platform and then that visitor center is actually right in the middle. So that would be the place where people can purchase their ticket, can have a uh, uh, brief introductions. Uh, there's a gallery to introduce sun bears. Uh, there is a, a visual uh, place where people can view videos and so on. So that component need to be built and then uh, we are planning to start building that soon in the next uh, few months or so. And hopefully that will be finished, completed by early next year and then we will be open to the public uh, say March next year or so, that's our target. Oh, that's fantastic. And when did this expansion project begin? How long has it been? How, how long have you guys been working on this? Okay, I have started this project uh, back in uh, April of 2008. So it has been more than four years now. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. And is now, is it all complete or are there more construction projects for uh, uh, the, the center? Yeah, there are more construction for the center. So beside the, beside the visitor center that I mentioned to you just now, we also need to renovate uh, our old building the, that consists from uh, office area, staffing area and also a bear holding area. Uh, that was actually all in the same site that connected to the uh, visitor center mm -hmm. and that is one component and then the second component is to build another bear house with another brand new uh, one hectare forest enclosure uh, to expand our capability to house more bear. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
And when do you suppose all of those are going to be done? That sounds like a lot of a lot of construction work. <laughs> yeah, a lot of construction yeah. work. Uh, hopefully next year, by for sure. Yeah, next year for sure. Because right now we already have uh, most of the funding uh, ready. So our construction, we can start construction uh, after the paperwork uh, has been dealt with uh, in the next few months. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. And. How many sun bears have you guys rescued so far this year? And were most of them rescued from pet situations or from bear farms? Or what were their stories? Yeah, so we have four new bears coming in this year. Mm -hmm. And all of them are cubs. Okay. Uh, the story are very similar. Uh, they were captured as pets. Mm. And, and people reported that, oh such as such person house uh, pet sun bears in their backyard and then uh, please come and rescue so after the people after those those informants uh, contacted us we will inform the wildlife department and then the server wildlife department would go and confiscate uh, and rescue this uh, pet bear and then say for example coco that we uh, rescued two months ago actually uh, no not coco abui uh, this this female bear is the owners is like waiting you know and look for a potential buyer um, for gallbladder and oh. uh, yeah in, in in Sabah we don't have bear farm yeah luckily we don't oh, have okay. bear farm. we have bears being kept here as pets and then some of the you know the owner have a bad intention on oh. selling the cubs yeah oh my gosh. That's awful. Um, yeah. And just as a reminder, it's completely illegal for people to keep sun bears as pets, right? Absolutely, absolutely <laughs> okay. illegal. Yeah, it is illegal to keep sun bears. It is illegal to kill sun bears, to harm sun bears, to eat sun bears, to harass sun bears. Sun bears are a totally protected species in Malaysia and in most of the country in Southeast Asia where, bears, where sun bears are found. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. <laughs> And you have some exciting news to share. Tell us about TED. I was uh, invited to give a talk at TED, uh, XKL is what we call it in, 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 uh, in Malaysia. The, the XKL is the Malaysian versions of the TED talk. TED talk, TED's talks is a very uh, f uh, important and very uh, famous talk that happens uh, uh, in, 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 in US and then uh, during this talk many prestigious speaker from all sectors come and share their success this share their success story and then I'm really fortunate and excited to be invited to give a talk at the Tex XKL which will happen on July 14 uh, in Kuala Lumpur uh, next month and then uh, the topic that I'm going to talk is about uh, Mary, Mary the Sun Bear. I'll mm -hmm. first start talking about how Mary the Sun Bear come into our center and then use Mary the Sun Bears as the uh, focal characters and try to illustrate the um, and try to illustrate the problems faced by the Sun Bears in these regions and how our work trying to rescue them, trying to save them, and try to help sun bears. Well, congratulations on being able to participate in that. That's fantastic news. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm very excited too. Uh, hopefully, you know, with this kind of, uh, uh, this kind of uh, opportunity to give more talks, uh, the message can be delivered uh, to larger audience uh, the information can be reach more peoples and so that they can uh, know about the issue of sun bear. They can uh, raise the awareness of sun bear conservation and help us in return. Oh, yeah. I think that'll be another great way for you to do that. That's very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and what can people do to help the Bornean Sun Bear Conservation Center? What do you want people to do? Well, people can do several things. First of all, uh, people can donate to our conservation center. And then, as you know, the amount of funding that we receive is reflects on the amount of work that we can do. 
and then plus right now our rescue bear populations keep on increasing our staffing uh, uh, capacity is increasing so actually we spend lots of money on our day-to-day -day operations feed the bears and so on so we do rely on the donation at this stage to sustain ourselves so people can donate uh, to us and then I'm going to tell you our website uh, in, 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 in a second and then the second thing that people can do is I think everybody can help us do is to help us spread the word sun bears still remain the least known bear in the world and not many people uh, including the local people knows about sun bears by helping to by helping us to spread the word meaning that you can help us share the news that we post in our blog that you share pictures that I post on my Facebook or our, 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 our Facebook site and you actually helping us to promote and raise awareness for some conservation you know so 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 please do help us uh, uh, spread the word and then uh, and then the third thing you can do is to be a volunteers we recruit volunteers uh, all year long and then uh, over the last four years or so, we have run on a very small budget. Uh, before May, we only have like four full-time staff, two animal keepers, and including my, uh, myself and a project manager. However, we do have more than 800 volunteers to come and help us to do various tasks uh, in our center. So definitely, this project is built upon the backbones of volunteerism from across the world. That is great. So if you have time, you can be a volunteer. And finally, I always tell people is that uh, do what you do best to help us. You know, we have uh, writers who come here to uh, write about uh, our sun bears, write about centers. We got photographer to take pictures of the sun bears and help us promote the sun bears uh, on their course and so on and so forth. So everybody have a role to help us spread the word and spread the word and, and spread the love. Especially for uh, sun bears, yeah, still remain the little known sun bear. Anything that you can help us speak out, you are doing a great job. And finally, I want to give you uh, the website of our of our Bowen Summit Conservation Center. We do have a a new uh, website uh, for our center, uh, which is www.bsbcc.org.my. That is www.bsbcc.org.my please feel free to visit the site and then if you have any questions feel free to contact me well thank you so much wang i'm so glad that you wanted to talk with us again and congratulations on participating in TED and also on the new observation platform and the exciting developments at the Borean Sun Bear Conservation Center. Thank you so much for this invitation and this opportunity to, to, to talk with you and share our information and our work with your audience. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You've been listening to A Bear's Eye View of Sun Bears with Su T. Wong, founder and CEO of the Bornean Sun Bear Conservation Center. This is Risha Kota Larson with Behind the Schemes. <laughs>